So various companies have gotten into trouble for a thing known as amino spiking. And amino spiking is a deceptive practice used by some companies to artificially inflate the protein content of their products. So welcome back to the Chem Vibes, your go-to channel for all things chemistry. Today we're stepping into the world of fitness and nutrition and we're going to be talking about whey protein and amino spiking. Whey protein is popular for muscle growth, for weight management, immune support, as well as just for its convenience. So whether you're adding it to smoothies or baking it or just adding water, it's a versatile supplement. So whey protein is a high quality protein that's derived from whey. And whey is the liquid byproduct of cheese production. So protein like whey is made up of smaller components that are known as amino acids. So whey protein is a complete protein, meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids that the body can produce on its own. So amino acid spiking is when companies put free amino acids such as glutamine, taurine and lysine in a product to make the protein content seem higher. So you see the standard method to measure protein content in food is based on the element nitrogen. So you should remember from our last video that all chemicals and substances that are found in the world are made from elements that are found in the periodic table. So these amino acids that I mentioned before can raise the nitrogen level in protein products. Um, so when it's tested, it shows that it has high protein, but technically it doesn't. Also something to note, glutamine, taurine, and lysine are high in nitrogen. So by adding these free amino acids, the nitrogen level is going to be raised drastically. So this practice is problematic as it's misleading the consumer, especially for athletes and bodybuilders. Also free amino acids, they do not provide the same nutritional benefits as complete proteins. So that could also lead to some nutritional imbalances. So many companies have been caught doing this. So to get around this problem, it's essential for us to check our labels as consumers and to be very much aware of the ingredients that are listed on the product labels. And one thing I definitely recommend is to look for third party testing. So until next time, stay curious.